Hi, I'm David from Sony. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your new reader and put eBooks on it for countries that don't have access to the reader store. Here's what you'll need. A Sony PRS-T1 reader and a computer with an internet connection. The first thing you need to do is install Adobe Digital Editions, which is required for digital rights management. On your computer's web browser, go to www.adobe.com forward slash products forward slash digital editions. Follow the instructions to download and install the software. Start the Adobe software and then follow the link to create an Adobe ID online. Once you've created your account, authorize your computer. Next, we'll install the Reader for PC or Reader for Mac software. Connect the reader to your computer with the USB cable and tap the data transfer button. A drive called Settings will be mounted under My Computer on PCs and on the desktop of a Mac. Double click it to open it and double click the Setup Reader for PC file. A Mac version is also available in this folder. Follow the instructions to complete the installation. Now you're ready to buy an ebook. Go to the website of an ebook retailer like borders.com.au and create an account. Then choose and purchase an ebook by following their instructions, making sure to purchase the EPUB version of the ebook. Once you've purchased the ebook, the website will instruct you how to download the ebook onto your computer. With the Borders website, you go to the My eLibrary section and then click on the download file link below the title of the book you have just purchased. Clicking this link downloads a security key, which is a small file ending in .acsm. Double click this security key to start the download process. You may need to double click the ebook icon that appears in the Reader for PC software to complete the download. Now sync your reader with the reader library by clicking the Sync Now button under the Reader tab. When syncing has finished, click Disconnect and unplug the USB cable. Now that you've gone through the initial setup process of steps 1 and 2, you only need to repeat step 3 each time you buy a new ebook. Lots of libraries also let you borrow and download books for free, so check them out on overdrive.com. Enjoy your new reader. I'll see you next time.